Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Uh, this is Learn Python the Hard Way. I highly recommend it. This is the second edition. It runs Python 2.7. I don't use Python 2.7, I use Python 3. And I'm using Python 3 and IPython Notebook. And one of the reasons why IPython is a great platform to learn on is that while working through exercises like this one, <coughs> you get error messages that you can play with, learn from, uh, and you can see that I've been, I have <laughs> iterated through this one, or through this script 23 times, and I worked through it eventually until I got to this point here where it stopped working altogether. And that's when I realized that the ND may not be the best way to add or multiply um, formatted variables. For example, my height, uh, these are um, these are integers, this one's a string, etc. So uh, I had to convert many of those integers or many of those strings to integers in order for it to work and what I discovered in the process is that actually using the newer quote unquote formatting method is much more effective. Um, for example, let's see right here, I can run a simple line and then I can see what is going to happen just by running that one line. Uh, if of course it didn't work, I've got um, a multiply sequence by non int of type string. Now, uh, I'm not quite sure. Oh, because these are strings, right? Can't multiply strings. You can, but you're not. It's not recommended. This is what works best by you know essentially testing. And that's one of the things that really stands out with uh, Learn Python the hard way is that there's lots of testing. And that said, I will show you what the final formatting looks like for this last difficult line that he mentions here. Uh, that final format is this here using the curly braces. And when I hit enter, I get, or shift rather, control enter this is what I get so format int my age my height my weight in kilos and my age and if I add all those together I get 293 anyway uh, check out uh, Python the hard way using Python 3 and IPython notebook it really can make learning Python much more enjoyable thank you and have a good evening